I am up bright and early this morning, although I do need to stop saying bright and early because I am up pitch black and early this morning. I've got a really, really fun day planner. So I've jumped out of bed. I've just started my hair and makeup. So you're definitely going to have to excuse the crazy hair at the moment. I decided to curl it this morning because I have not curled it in ages. I feel like I've been loving the slip back bun life. I've been loving the straight hair bob life. But the curls have been eluding me recently. So I decided to curl it this morning because it was hair wash night last night. And I've just kind of like pinned the curls back whilst they're like cool and set. I do find that my hair, it does stick really well to products as long as I kind of give it the time. I do feel like I need to leave my hair for a good half an hour like this before I can brush it out and kind of like, you know, detangle the curls and things like that, make them a little bit more natural and a little bit more tussled. So you're just going to have to excuse the crazy hair, but I've just been getting myself ready this morning. And I am so obsessed with a combination at the moment with regards to my makeup. I have been using these two products so much and I feel like my skin at the moment is glowing, if I do say so myself. So it's the YSL Two Chaclat products. So we've got the Two Chaclat primer and this is a really really lovely primer i will say one thing it is a greasy primer and when i first used this i was really unsure about it because it is the kind of primer where like you feel like you need to wash your hands afterwards but i think because of that it's the kind of primer that just sits in your pores and it airbrushes your skin to perfection like it literally feels like your skin is flawless i absolutely love it and i've used it a few times and i always thought it was just okay and it wasn't until I paired it with the Touche Eclat foundation. I do sometimes forget products like this are so obviously designed to be paired together. And you might not get like the full effect from one until you try it with the other. And oh my goodness, these two products are 10,000% supposed to be used together. So this is the Touche Eclat foundation. I have the shade B10, which is like a perfect little bit tanned but not too tanned it's not like a summer tan i just kind of do like a natural fake tan during the winter but this is such a gorgeous foundation so i've just got that on this morning and i am very very much enjoying it but as i said i've got a really exciting day today i am actually heading back into london today to meet up with charlotte because we are going to Dior World. I am so excited about this. I've seen the Dior World pop up at Harrods on everyone's social media, like literally everyone's. This is one thing I find so funny about like the influencer industry. Whenever people say that it doesn't work, it does. Like influencing 10,000% works because everyone has made me want to go to Dior World at Harrods and I'm so excited to be heading there today. I feel like this year I've been really, really making the most of just the fact that like we don't have any restrictions this year. This is the first year we have kind of complete freedom and free reign. And I feel like I've really been making the most of being able to pop up to London and just enjoy London at Christmas. I must admit London at Christmas is just my favourite. I feel like I've done a few other places around this time of year and I am a little bit biased from the UK but I just feel like nothing compares. There is nothing as magical as Christmas in London. Even my mum being in Canada, you'd think like with the snow and like everything like that would feel a lot more festive and obviously they have their lights, they have beautiful decorations but it just doesn't compare to London. You've got like Bond Street, you've got Oxford Circus, you've got Covent Garden, you've got Harrods. There's so many places to go to in London at Christmas time. So if you have the opportunity, I definitely say to do London at Christmas. It's just magical. You only need maybe two or three days just to like really be able to like do the things that you want to do, but oh, I just absolutely love it. So we are heading to Harrods, which I'm so excited about. I'm not gonna lie, Harrods is one of those places I feel like I only actually go there at Christmas because it's so far away in Knightsbridge and I find that places like Selfridges on Oxford Street are just so much easier to get to. Harrods is one that I don't really think I ever visit. I think the last time I was there was probably this time last year. Did I even go there this time last year? I'm sure I did. Yeah, I think I did. I think me and Charlotte also did a shopping trip at Harrods at Christmas. I'm sure there's a vlog floating around the ether somewhere. But yeah, we're going to see what Dior World is all about. If you haven't seen, basically Dior have taken over Harrods. They've got this big wrap on the outside of Harrods, which looks amazing. It looks like it's made of gingerbread. And then on the inside, everything's made of gingerbread. I think they've taken over every single window display and it's all completely made of gingerbread. They've got like amazing displays to show off the products. Because obviously Dior's got so much. It's got the fashion. It's got the beauty it's got the accessories it's got home it's got so so much and there's also a dior cafe which we've not been able to get a reservation at but i'm really really hoping that we'll be able to just grab a coffee or like even just like a little gingerbread man um like a cake or something like that just so that we can make the most of it and one thing with harrods is you're not allowed in harrods with a suitcase so 
we've not been able to do it on any other like shoot days so this is just a dedicated girls day shopping trip in Harrods and I'm so so excited about it. I feel like this jumper looks really, really plain like this. I've got my um Pandora jewelry and I've just got a couple of the Pandora Me chain bracelets. I love these stacked up together. I think they're so cute. I've got my um Brilliance ring on, which I just love the diamond. Oh my goodness. And look how cute my nails look beside it. Oh my goodness. Please excuse this one. I may or may not have done a little bit of anxious picking last night, but um yeah, I love the Brilliance. I've got a couple of favorites on this hand um, and I've got on my gorgeous blue earrings because you'll see in a minute what my outfit of the day is and I feel like the earrings work so well with them but I'm looking a little bit plain and I was contemplating wearing a necklace but I actually found my little pot of brooches the other day and I was like oh my goodness now is the time of year that I need to bring out my brooches because I absolutely love them paired with like blazers coats or jumpers like this especially just a plain jumper it's literally just wearing like a plain baggy black roll neck or it's more like a mock turtleneck but I feel like they just go so so well because they really stand out so I've got a choice of a few today which I am undecided what to go for first of all I've got my YSL brooch which I really do like I think it's really really beautiful the only thing I worry about is is it too this is gonna sound really silly especially because I've got a lot of like branding on my bags I've got a lot of monogramming I feel like this is very like designer like YSL I don't know I've not really worn this one as much as I thought I would because I just feel like it's a little bit in your face I'm not sure let me know but then we also have this gorgeous little like bow it's like a little pearl bow it's absolutely beautiful i love it so much so that is another option or one of my favorite ones which this is actually the most affordable one in my brooch collection now that i've seen it i think it has to be this one my christmas brooch look at that which side should we go oh it's so cute it's like a little wreath and it's got sparkles and it's got pearls it's just absolutely stunning it's this really lovely like bronzy kind of antique look which i think makes it look so much more expensive i think it was literally from etsy if they still do it which i'm hoping they do i'll link it down below which side i think i'm gonna do the right side I don't know if there is a particular side that you're supposed to do, but oh, that looks so cute. I love it. I always try and wear it a little bit like above my bust because I feel like if you wear them too low, especially because it's a circle, it can look a little bit dodgy, but oh, I love that. Oh, I don't know if I want that one or my bow because I do love my bow. This is more of like an evening one. Oh, this is a tough decision. Let's put the bow on and see which one we prefer. <laughs> it looks so silly when you've got both on. I think... Oh, I'm not sure. I do really, really love the bow. Let me look in the mirror. Mm. I think I'm going to go with the Christmas wreath. I feel like it's just so classic that you can't not have a Christmas wreath if you're going to a very, very Christmassy shop. So, um, yeah, got my little brooch on. I love it. Sorry, I keep, like, flicking my hair because it is annoying me that it's not been brushed through and it just looks very very wild but um oh i just love how that looks right i think it's time to brush the curls out they've definitely been sitting like this for long enough and i can get myself properly ready for the day just to show you today's outfit of the day and part of the reason why i am wearing the blue studs today because i am wearing the skirt that i unboxed yesterday from my revolve order i must say i feel like revolve just do the best slip skirts two of my favorites the green one and now this one they're just the softest, silkiest fabric. I absolutely adore them. So I've just got that skirt on today because I feel like slip skirts at Christmas time are just my go-to. I absolutely love them. I'm just wearing my little Revive boots. These are the best boots for when I've got my days in London. When I want to be like elevated, I want to have a really nice, elegant pair of boots, but I want to be comfortable. They are so, so comfy. And then of course I've got them paired with my little jumper, which I've just tucked into. I've done the bra trick, which I know I speak about a lot. But basically when it comes to tucking in jumpers, I will always say, don't tuck them into your skirts or your trousers or any of your bottoms, because especially if it's a thick knit like this, it will literally create the biggest bulge around here which is not a flattering in the slightest so just tuck it into your bra and then it gives you that really nice tucked in look without giving a huge bulge so it's literally just tucked in tucked in there into the underwire which is such an easy trick to make sure that you're streamlining your look and i really love how the jumper dress looks with the skirt i think it's just the cutest thing ever and the blue of the earrings really bring out the blue in the skirt because it's like a bluey gray color i feel like it's really nice to bring out different tones in it and i love how the earrings look paired and i just love how the brooch looks i think it's absolutely gorgeous i really think it completes this outfit it's such a stunning little like shopping day look oh 
I'm feeling very festive. Despite the fact that the sun has actually risen now, it's still a little bit gray and miserable outside. So I've just got the overhead lights on for now, but I've got a little bit of time before I need to catch my train. I thought I would make the most of it and unbox what is in here. This is probably one of the biggest body shop deliveries I have ever received in my entire life. And I wanted to unbox it with you guys because I know a lot of you are still doing your Christmas shopping. You're still looking for some great gift ideas. And if that's you, you are going to want to keep on watching. because I think this is probably one of the most insane deliveries I've ever, ever received from the body shop full of Christmas gifting. So if you're looking for some ideas, if you're still looking for things to shop for, whether that's like for your mum, for your sister, whether it's like big gift sets, small stocking fillers, you will find it at the body shop. I feel like they really do just slay the game when it comes to Christmas gifting. They have so many gorgeous gifting ideas, so many pieces that you can pick up, very affordable as well. So like really, really great present ideas. So I thought we could unbox what's inside and I can show you some of the great gifting selects they've got at the body shop at the moment. Exhibit A, do you see what I mean when I say they do great gifting products and like gift sets? Because this is just the cutest thing to unbox on Christmas morning. Look at this. So this is the Cherry Blossom collection. So we've got three things in here. I think this would make a great gift for like a mum. I feel like Cherry Blossom is a very, very universally loved scent, but I feel like this would just make such a lovely gift if you're looking for something for your mum. There's some really lovely things in here. We've got the shower gel, we have got the eau de toilette, and we've also got the body cream, which I just think is such a lovely gift idea. Love the fact that it comes in this little set as well. It's easy to wrap because it's like in the nice box, and I think this would be a great idea for any mums out there maybe like an auntie or something like that because they are going to love these pieces i don't know about you but my mum absolutely adores she always calls them her smellies which is basically like her nice smelling products so i always get her some nice smellies for christmas and i think she would absolutely love this honestly you're not going to believe how many gift sets we have here next we have the uplift and energize gift set and what i will do is i will link all of these down below this is a really really nice one very citrusy so this would also be a great unisex one so like brothers dads anything like that i think would really really like this so in here we have the uplifting hair and body wash I definitely think this is probably more of a men's one because I don't really know many women that would do hair and body in the same product, whereas men love doing that. Alex gets so excited when he buys a shampoo and conditioner two in one because he's like, look, I've saved myself so much time. And I'm like, <laughs> it's really not safe just to have that much time, but he loves it. So this is the uplifting hair and body wash. We then have the happy hand cream, which is really lovely. And we also have an essential oil blend. Ooh, and this is all mandarin and bergamot. And this is the scent that I'm currently using in my upstairs bathroom for our hand soap. And it smells amazing. I thought it would be really festive. It's not like the most festive in the world. So it's a quite nice one to receive because it's like a little bit festive. But obviously you can still use it going into like January and stuff. It's just a really, really lovely citrusy, but not too like strong citrusy scent. That's such a lovely gift set. I think that would be a great one for any men in your life. We then have a, another one here. This is the Unwind and Reset Sleep Routine Gift. <gasps> this looks lovely. Let's unbox what's in here. I honestly had no idea that this was coming from the body shop. So, ooh, this is really, really nice. So quite a luxurious one. Again, this would be really nice for any mums out there. This would be so lovely. So it's all about like sleep, relax, so if you know anyone that maybe works a really hard job, I've got a lot of friends that work in the NHS and I love being able to give them lovely products like this because I feel like they're the ones that are like the most deserving of these kind of relaxing, moisturizing, luxurious, nourishing products. I always give them to my NHS friends because they're the true heroes. Like honestly, I love meeting up with them as well because whenever they're like, how's your week been? And I'm like, oh yeah, stressful. And then they tell me how their week's been and I'm like, wow, my problems don't, aren't real. <laughs> like, my job doesn't matter. <laughs> but anyway, this would make a really, really lovely gift set if you maybe know someone that works quite a tough job that really, really deserves to relax and unwind. So we've got the relaxing hair and body wash. We've got another sleep oil. We've got a calming pillow mist. I love a pillow mist. They are just my favorites. And then we've got a really big sleep balmy body cream. Oh my word. Can you imagine applying that like on your feet just before you go to bed? Oh, that sounds like the dream. So a really lovely gift set. Next, we've got a really cute little set. This is a little creamy and dreamy coconut essential gift. And it also comes in a little, this looks like a very, um, like 
sustainable recycled i cannot get the packaging off little gift bag as well so they can reuse that which is lovely this might be another one as well for the guys let's see oh this could be kind of either so we've got coconut cream shower cream we have got a hand moisturizer i love these as i've been unboxing them in my body shop advent calendar they have been my favorite thing to unbox i've literally added one to every single handbag that i own we also have a lip butter which sounds really really lovely and we have a body butter so that's a really really nice one and the coconut range from the body shop is one of the most popular ones because it's just very like again very unisex very easy like a really really universally liked scent and i love the fact that it also comes in like a little gift bag gift set that's so cute. Oh my goodness me, they just keep getting better and better as I'm bringing them out of the box. We then have another little like makeup bag gift set. Now this is a very festive one. This is a jolly and juicy strawberry big gift. But one thing I do worry about if it is a little bit too festive is whether someone's going to be able to use it after December 25th. But I'm thinking it's just the packaging that's festive. It's not actually the scent. I can't imagine strawberry Yes, okay, it's just the packaging. Strawberry is not exactly the most festive scent. So this is a much bigger version. So we've got the shower gel as well. We've got like the body cream. We've got a much bigger version of the body butter. And we've also got in this set a body mist. That might be a really nice one if you know someone who's a little bit younger, who's maybe like experimenting with perfumes, getting into like scents and things like that. I feel like a body mist is a great like starter. So maybe if you've got like a niece or anything like that, like a little cousin, that would be a really, really lovely one. And we're still going. Honestly, this is just the biggest gifting set I've ever received. But it's so fun to be able to go through these with you guys, show you what the body shop has to offer. And we can chat about what works for different people. For example, this one is a glow and peace vitamin C skin skincare set and I know a lot of ladies in my life who love vitamin C in their skincare. I feel like it's a really, really, again, universally liked one. I think this might be a good one for my mother-in-law because Alex's mum loves vitamin C. She always chats about how great it is. Oh my goodness, it even has a little face roller in there. That's so, so lovely. So we've got in here the vitamin C daily glow cleansing polish. We then have the vitamin C glow revealing serum, which sounds lovely. I must say the Body Shop serums are amazing. I'm of course using the Edelweiss range again Today, seeing as though I am going into London and the serum is my favorite because it's just like the perfect amount like once you one pump in the pipette perfect it applies really nicely it feels really moisturizing so I'm really tempted to keep this for myself but I'm not going to this is for gifting for Christmas but I love the fact that it also comes with a face roll I think that's probably my favorite so far what a gorgeous gorgeous gift speaking of the Edelweiss collection Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to keep this one to myself because I am using this non-stop at the moment. Every time I go into London, I use it. If you haven't been keeping up with the vlogs and you don't know what I'm talking about, this is basically a really lovely set for if you are looking to protect your skin from the elements that's kind of what the whole range is like based around so i'm using the serum and the moisturizer every time i'm going to london and then when i come home i use the cleanser and it is so fab but in here we actually have the liquid peel which i haven't actually tried yet but maybe i should try that tonight when i come home but it's all about protecting you from like the pollutions in the air and protecting your skin from just kind of like the dirt and like grime that's in the air and i always feel like especially when i go into london i really really feel it in my skin ever since i've been using it, the edelweiss collection every time i've been going in I have not found that I've got those little annoying whitehead spots. I've not found that I've had those under the skin spots. I found my skin has been so much clearer. So I really, really love this. This is the cream, which I am honestly using all of the time. So that is a really, really exciting one. If you know someone that lives in the city, lives in London, this is a great gift set for them. I feel like this would also make great secret Santa gifting because these are so like universally liked scents, universally liked products, quite unisex. This would be great for secret Santa presents or if you don't know who you're buying for, fab. Another one here that I love the look of that I feel like will be a great mum gift set is the Calm and Chamomile Cleansing Gift. So it looks like we're going to have some lovely relaxing cleansing products in here. I like that each one's quite different as well. Ooh, this one's wrapped up. I love the sound of this. So this is a big version and a travel version of the Chamomile Sumptuous Cleansing Butter. Suitable for sensitive skin. This sounds really, really lovely. I love the fact that it comes in a mini because I struggle so much when I go traveling with regards to bringing my skincare products with me, like my favorite, favorite products. And that's so nice that you've got like one to keep at home, one to keep in your travel bag. And then it also comes with these reusable they are as well. Oh my goodness, I need some more of these. I might keep this one for myself. But these are the reusable cotton pads. 
I love these, they're so, so handy and it comes in the little pouch so you can just chuck them in the washing machine. Super easy and so much better for the environment. So that's a really, really lovely one. I love the fact as well that all these boxes are very obviously recyclable. I wonder if it says on it exactly what they're made out of, but they're all, you know, cardboard boxes, easy to recycle, easy to kind of like, you know, make use of. I just think they're so lovely. Okay, and then we have some really lovely stocking filler gifts. The first one, how cute is this? This is a hugs and kisses avocado hand and lip duo. I've been using the avocado body wash recently that I picked up from the advent calendar as well. Honestly, I feel like my whole house is just dotted with the body shop products at the moment from that advent calendar, but I'm loving them. And the scent is really nice. I think the lip balm might be a really, really nice one to try. And I love the fact that it just comes in this little like stocking. It is just the cutest thing. Again, a great secret Santa gift. They're all very affordable. So really, really easy presents to pick up. And I feel like there's a body shop in most city centers centers as well so if you can't pick these up online you can go into store maybe smell them for yourself try them out for yourself and see what you want to pick up but of course all of these products will be linked down below we then have an oranges and stockings spiced orange mini gift how cute is this I have a feeling this might be a little bit festive with the scent I think it's a really really nice one I love the fact that it comes with a little um I keep forgetting what the name of these are you know they're like scrubber that you put in the shower cannot for the life of me remember what it's called but i love the fact that it's got the moisturizer the body wash it's just such a cute one again a great stocking filler We've then got a another lovely one for any ladies in your life this is the bloom and glow british rose treats again we've got the moisturizer and the body wash it's a little bit smaller than that orange one so we don't have the um scrubber at the back but another great option again easy to wrap as well because it's just a simple box <laughs> a wonder and wishes hand balm duo oh my goodness me this is slightly open i'm not sure how it got open but i'm guessing it was on the commute so i think these two might have to go into my handbags but we have here a wild pine which is pine mint and sandalwood which sounds really really nice and then orange vanilla and cinnamon maybe i need to put this one in my bag because this one feels very festive that might be really nice to keep with me as i'm doing all of my escapades in and out of london Oh my goodness, this sounds absolutely amazing. This is a Slather and Glow face mask gift. And I have a feeling this is just going to be full, yes, of so many face masks. Look at that, we've got two little sliding drawers. Oh, that is adorable. It's like a little turban to put around your head to protect your hair. That is absolutely gorgeous. That would be a great one for like a sister-in-law, a sister, even like any men that you know that like to mask. Again, love the fact that the products are all very unisex. Like they're not too kind of branded heavily. They're very, just very easy to gift to like anyone, which I think is what they're going for with the body shop. And I also love that they all feel very special. It's not like one set and then they just do it in loads of different scents. Everything is totally different and totally unique. So as much as it's like, it will suit anyone, it still feels very like thought through, very unique and very special. So that is another really, really lovely one. And then lastly, this one is gonna have to go to my dad because he loves his soaps. This is the Love and Lather Soap Collection. And we've got four lovely soaps in there for him to choose from. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like that's such a dad gift. He is going to absolutely love that. I think that's really, really cute. So some amazing gifts from the body shop. I'm feeling very, very spoiled right now because I can pick and choose who to give what. And I'm definitely going to be giving some to lots of people that I know that work in the NHS, that work really, really tough jobs, that just really deserve these products to relax, unwind, and treat themselves to. So I'll link all of these down below if you do want to shop any of the body shop products if you're still looking for some gifting ideas these are just absolutely fabulous i'm actually i've got a little bit of an idea this year with regards to my family's presence i've decided i'm going to be doing stockings for everyone and i think it's going to be really fun so i can put things like this i mean this can go in my dad's stocking this can go in my sister's stocking. It's really nice just to add these like lovely gift sets in. I think they're really, really going to enjoy it. As I said, they're simultaneously products that everyone will enjoy, but at the same time, they feel really unique and really thought through. So it's very, very special. So all of these will be linked down below. I now need to tidy this up and get it going before I miss my train going into London. So a proper outfit of the day before we head into London. I've just put on my gorgeous forever new coat with the faux fur lining on the collar. I just love this so much. It's so nice and cozy warm. It means I don't have to wear a scarf because I basically have a scarf 
built in to the coat and it's quite a chilly day in London today. I feel like it goes so well with the outfit as well. I love it with the skirt, love it with the boots. It's just the cutest thing ever. I've just got my little YSL that I'm going to wear at crossbody and then I also have my longchamp bag beside me which has got like my laptop and everything else that I need in it for the train journey and things like that. It is a navy blue bag and I am wearing mainly black but I feel like we've established that navy blue and black do go together. They are definitely okay to be seen. So loving today's little outfit of the day. I'm feeling very festive and very cutesy. Really excited for a girl's day of shopping. So let's get going. Let's go and head into London and I will see you guys there. So we have arrived. Look who we're with. Oh, you look so wrapped up and cozy. I love it. And we always, always looking cozy. And we have just arrived to Harrods. It is looking absolutely magical. I feel like you can't really see the wrap very well from here, but it looks so pretty. And it's actually, it's worked out quite well that today's weather is a little bit grey. Yes. Because see the lights are coming out really well. <laughs> so yeah, it's just so magical. That's a bit of a better angle now. I've just crossed the street so you can see it. Look at the amazing wrap. Oh, Harrods to me just screams Christmas and I love the fact that we can see all the lights on it. They're so pretty. I'm not entirely sure what the theme is. I think the theme is sea because we've got like a ship here but then we've got like a big sun up there which is also the same kind of style they've gone for on Bond Street as well. Oh look at my glittery nails. Oh they look so cute but I'm loving the wrap. I just think it looks absolutely magical. The city is covered in snow tonight Where did my love go? Santa I'm waiting for him but he's It's actually super dangerous because I have just fallen in love with a lady Dior It's moving so I have to be quick but Look at how beautiful this is Oh, I think I need it It's going Bye bye <laughs> If you know where it is, please
my god, that was so cute. I'm so glad we did that. That was like actually really interesting information as well. Yeah, although she really spent I mean, it was quick. It was very quick. All I heard was Okay, my favorite thing is that she was talking about colors and the different colors that Dior uses. And red is success because he would measure his success based on how many kisses he'd get his cheek on his cheek at the end of his shows. So all the red lipstick kisses meant lots of success. Red is not like a colour anymore. I know, well, Christmas. I don't wear red. <laughs> no, you don't wear red. And then obviously the Lady Dior bags was because of Lady Di. Yeah. Oh which yeah, was I really knew interesting that as well. Yeah, I knew that one as well. But it was so so good. So we are going to grab some lunch. Although we are currently heading into the chocolate hall. We both spotted it and went, um, yes please. It's so just had the loveliest lunch we're feeling refueled and ready for more shopping i think we might head up to the higher floors in harrods i think maybe hit the beauty hall the bags and have a look at what they've got i must say harrods is an absolute maze when it comes to wandering around it's like a proper dedicate the entire day to shopping here but i do absolutely love it always just feels so bougie so luxurious and so much fun so an afternoon of shopping is on the cards It is already getting dark. I did not realize that we had been in Harrods for that long, but I think, I think it's fairly safe to say that it was a rather successful shopping trip. <laughs> I may have picked myself up a little treat. I feel like today was the perfect day to pick this up because I had my eye on this from Dior Beauty for literally so, so long. And you guys know that every Christmas we need a to me, love me a Christmas present. I always love to do a little treat yourself Christmas present. So I'm kind of tempted to keep this wrapped and under the tree and unwrap it on Christmas morning. So it is the biggest tease for you guys because I don't think I'm going to be showing you 
what is in here but of course I will be doing my annual what I got off the Christmas video so you'll probably be able to see it in that but I've literally had my eye on this for so long and seeing as though we're going to Dior World, Dior has taken over Harrods, it is literally the land of Dior at the moment. I just had to pick it up on this trip so I'm so so excited to have picked it up and they have literally Oh, they've spritzed the paper. It smells absolutely incredible. So I'm so happy right now. I'm literally on cloud nine and we had the loveliest, loveliest shopping trip around Harrods and especially in Dior. I would definitely recommend having a look at Dior World. It was just fabulous you learned so so much you do need to book tickets for the Dior Cafe and for Dior World and tickets are selling out so fast so if you do want to come and have a look at Dior World and Harrods if you want to go to the Dior Cafe definitely book as far in advance as you can but it's just incredible like it's all made of gingerbread it's all absolutely amazing and the exhibition was just so much fun to see really fun to like learn a few facts about Dior that we didn't already know some things that we already did but just to see the amazing world of Dior it was so much fun so yeah I would definitely recommend booking yourself some tickets if you do want to see it but how it's now looking absolutely magical that it is lit up i'm on cloud nine because i've got myself the most amazing christmas gift and it has been such a wonderful day